G Tech Air Ram Mark II, the current, I think, iteration of this cordless vacuum cleaner. And this one is in full repair. The brush hole's not turning. The red light keeps. Oh my goodness. Keeps coming on, although that's. That's a rather worrying noise. That's the first time I've turned it on. So we need to look at that. And also, well, the wheel's broken as well. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, the wheel is broken. I don't know if it was foul play or just a rubbish wheel, so cannot comment on that. Yeah, obviously it should sit in there. So, turns out these are fairly easy to get hold of for about £20. So, we've got that out of the way with the customer. So, now it's time to actually see what is wrong with this thing. And immediately that... Grinding noise, which does seem to be coming from back here more than up there, is quite worrying. As is actually, look, all the, all the tape that's here, that's not the original fa... Oh my god, I just need to shut what? Right, well that now works, oh my goodness, what, how, how, how? I want to take the battery out, because... Quite honestly, that's doing my head in. That's turning on and off all the time. Where's the battery pack in these things? There it is. One battery pack out. So I'm not really doing that while my fingers are nearby. We have the bin. We'll take a peek inside of there later. And we have this. Now the brush roll spins quite freely by hand, which is a little bit worrying. Now, are we going to... Oh my goodness, we're not going to... <sighs> I don't have to force my way in again, do I? Like I've had to before. Oh my goodness, I do. Hang on. Crikey, yep, we've had to do it again. I do not like doing it at all because quite, yeah, well, we've already chipped the egg cap, but oh, look at that. It's all melting in there and it's all, wow, very, very compacted. Look, it's happened again, folks. We've had this once and now we are literally repeating ourselves right here and right now. In fact, I suppose before we go too far with that, we can now, oh, Put the battery back in. And confirm that that works 100% perfectly before we now spend many, many minutes screwdrivering this all out until it's all gone. So I'll come back then. We are back, and I think it's going to be okay. Yes, I pulled all of this out, actually. Pop those two tabs there, and the whole end cap comes out. And now it pushes in quite nicely, although it's a little bearing. It turns, but not freely. Well, I don't actually know if it should. But what we're going to do is put a load of oil on it, and down there into the bit that turns. And then at least, if it does jam up, it will still spin quite nicely indeed. This is pretty wrecked. But, we'll, in theory, do the job, and if we just move that out of the way, we can pop this back in. Not only does the button that there, there, button now push, but our brush roll spins once more. Fantastic. Twice now we have done that. Let's have a quick look at this, because, you know, I always like to when doing our videos well that bit's pulled out that bit's fairly tidy pull that out and oh yes look at that bless it they're very good but they do like to make themselves dirty luckily we have a victor v9 sat just off camera here 
ready to sort it out. Very nice indeed, the filter does need a wash but we're not going to do that today. <laughs> I can't be bothered, this is only even for, only even in for this. Sadly you can't really take this apart to wash it. I was to get down there, you've got to really get in there with a the brush, which is a bit of a shame because I was going to give the old girl a little bit of a wipe down but instead we'll just do all of in here, get it all a bit nicer. Ready for me to contact the owner and say that I have fixed. Oh, which way round does this go? Why don't I know which way round it goes? That way. Oh my goodness, Beko 1987 gets defeated by a G Tech. Ah. I've been very silly. Yeah, I can't actually make that look any less horrifying than it does. So yes, I'm going to message her and say all is fine. We'll get that wheel ordered, madam. We'll get this working right once more. And yeah, go and buy some of the feedback I've had on my other G Tech Air Ram video. This is an incredibly common thing to happen. So get used to it. Really, is all I can say to you. And I hope this helps you change it. Let's also look at my first video on the subject and yeah, with a new wheel there, this old thing. I mean it's still alright now once you hold it up a bit. Very good indeed. So there we go. Another GTEC similar GTEC issues. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I maybe another GTEC. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.